Hi, it's Anthony Bresnikan with Entertainment Weekly, high above Comic-Con on its final day. Uh, it starts, it ends with Marvel, and it begins with Marvel. I have the gang from Agent Carter, the latest one-shot short film from the studio. Haley Atwell returning as Peggy Carter, the title character. Director Luis D'Esposito, also co-president of Marvel and producer Brad Winderbaum. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So, so when, la when last we saw Peggy Carter, yeah. uh, Captain America, was crashing into the Arctic. Yes. Where does this film pick up? This is, I suppose, a kind of a Peggy's epilogue. Mm -hmm. It's a year later, and it's a little bit about um, kind of what she did next, mm -hmm. and the obstacles that she had to face. And um, she's still grieving Steve. She's still thinking about him. So she's she, got she his picture in on. the drawer. Exactly. I think it's a source of inspiration for her. It keeps her going. It still it gives her her work a little bit more purpose. So the thing she's seeking, Lewis, is the Zodiac Key, which is right. the MacGuffin of the story. But the villain is actually her boss. Yes. Right. right. So explain sort of the, the obstacles that she's facing. Well, that the Zodiac to. is, a, as you said, is a MacGuffin. Mm -hmm. It's really not important what what it actually does. How uh, is it a chemical agent? Sets is it the not? Plot is it, a, it just sets the plot mode, and it's a cool name. Awesome. The real uh, uh, the real antagonist is uh, is Agent Flynn. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had played strong... by Bradley, Bradley Whitford from yes. the West Wing. Yes. Yeah. And what a terrific. Uh, Jerky play. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Brad, you've produced all of the one shots. It started with the Agent Coulson short. It's a funny thing happened on the way to to uh, Thor's, Thor's Hammer. Hammer, the consultant. Um, last year, Lewis, you directed Item Forty Seven, yes. which was the uh, the short that accompanied the Avengers, and that was about two characters who find one of the alien guns, the Chitari guns, and, right. and start and go on sort of a Bonnie and Clyde bank robbing spree. Each successive one shot has grown in scale and scope. What has that process been like? What was it like at the beginning, Brad, when you, what, you had to kick it off? You know, we had to, we had very little money at the beginning. We had to prove that it would sell Blu-rays, and thankfully the fans, you know, ate them up and loved seeing Coulson, and it was um, it gave us the opportunity to do Item Forty Seven. And in the in the interim, you know, there's a long development process where we just you know they're only ten pages each, so we actually just write, 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 write different scenarios with our writer Eric Pearson, and um, and every so often, you know, we find the one that's just like that's it. The idea, the story is really about a woman breaking into the, the superhero, or the hero, the hero world. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 you know, the fans last night, I was at the screening doing the Q&A with you guys, they want more female heroes. Is this yeah. a step in that direction? I, I hope so. I, I certainly think so. I love mm -hmm. Peggy's ability to be incredibly feminine still, but also uh, it's very strong. Um, but she's, you know, I think Peggy's a, you know, she's a kind of a ahead of her time a little bit. You know, she's in an environment where it's not easy that, to, to do what she wants to do, and so she has to fight that little bit harder. Um, but, and she's effectively on her own, but it's, I find that tremendously inspiring that despite her circumstance, she's able to overcome those things to, um, to really fulfill her potential. Mm -hmm.